Well, good evening, Mr Lapid. Thank you very much for being with us. And you have agreed to set aside your differences with the Prime Minister during the war. Are you agreed on the immediate way forward, on the nature, if you like, of the operation against Hamas? Yes. Um, if I may correct you, Mark, I, I don't think I'm supporting from the sidelines. Side I'm supporting from the centre of the Israeli society. We are all united on this one, on our ability and necessity to protect ourselves uh, from this vicious attack and from this vicious terror organization that went out there to kill our children. So, yes, we are united, and I think we will have no choice but to protect ourselves. Yeah, and I meant, sorry, I, I meant, you know, from outside of the unity government, but um, I, take, I take your point exactly. Um, there are reports that the US is asking Israel to delay the ground operation. Um, can you confirm that they have done that? No. Um, this, this, these, are, these are false reports. I mean, it's, it's wartime and, you know, the, the size and the amount of rumours that are circling us is unbelievable. Uh, basically, everybody understands. I just met with a group of the most senior senators who came over here to visit. Of course, President Biden was here a couple of few, few days ago. The support we get from uh, the civilised world is is unbelievably positive and everybody understands we will have to move into Gaza in order to make sure that the ruling of Hamas stops. I mean, we cannot live like this. I spent the entire morning, most of the day actually, down south in uh, in the kibbutz, one of the in kibbutz Kfar Aza, which is one of the the, key, the the villages that were attacked, talking to people. I, I'll give you one example: somebody who 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 is hiding under his mom's bed, and they shot her, and he, she was bleeding all over him. So nobody is expecting us to live like this, and everybody understands that as long as Hamas is in Gaza, the threats will, will not be overthrown from our heads and from our people and from our children. So I think every, everybody is, is, understands our need to protect ourselves. So we've just had a report from the uh, Lebanese border. Do you worry that an intensified military operation will draw in Hezbollah and possibly even expand to a wider region? Well, I, I don't know. I, well, I don't want to make prediction, but I think Hezbollah understand this is a very bad idea right now to try to stretch things with us. I mean, yes, we were caught by surprise in, in Gaza a couple of weeks ago. We are not surprised now, we are angry. And Israel still has the strongest army in the region and we will react as strongly as necessary uh, to any provocation. So I, I, they're, they're playing a dangerous game. If they know what's good for them and for Lebanon, uh, they should be, um, they should restrain themselves from what they're trying to do up north. Now, Anthony Blinken has said that the way Israel responds to this, the way it does this matters, uh, he said. Do you think it is possible to wipe out Hamas, which is the aim in all this, without causing hundreds more, thousands more um, civilian casualties inside Gaza? Do you think it's really possible? Mark, we are not causing this. Hamas is causing this. They are, I mean, we told everybody in Gaza, I mean, we did something no army in the history of wars has done, which is telling the people of Gaza, this is where we're going to go in from, this is what you should be aware of, this is where you should move from, in order to, you know, get away from harm's way. And the only reason they're still there is because Hamas is keeping them over there under uh, fire. They're shooting at their own people. So what? When they're killing our children, they're going to blame us. And when they're killing their own children, they're going to blame us again. I mean, I think you should direct your question to Hamas. No, absolutely. But the, the um, question for Israel is if they are going to uh, stay, as, as Joe Biden has asked, Rishi Sunak has asked, on the side of international law, if the way you do it does matter, um, then how do you do it, was my question. How do you wipe out Hamas with a ground invasion, heavier airstrikes? How do you do it without causing many more civilian casualties? That was my question. Yeah, I understand the question. First of all, nobody needs to remind us to maintain international law. We are a law-binding country. But this is war. 
and we are fighting for our lives. And I, we, I was today in the home, in the house of a family in which the mother was killed, the father was killed, and a three-year-old Abigail was, was abducted by Hamas. So we need to bring her back home and we need to protect, protect the future Abigails. And therefore, we need to strike Hamas, and Hamas is in Gaza using his own people as human shields. So, uh, yes, we are going to obey international law, but this is war, and war is never pleasant. And the only reason we're doing it is because we have to keep on living in our homes. And I'm sorry if, you know, we're not quiet enough while protecting our own people. Okay, well, listen, um, I just finally, we've only got a couple of minutes left. Are you in agreement with Netanyahu on what uh, things look like going forward after this war is over? What does the end game look like? What does Gaza look like at the end of this? Well, uh, this has nothing to do with agreement with, with uh, Netanyahu. My thinking is, and I've expressed it um, whenever I was asked, is that we have to work on some sort of a um, more moderate Palestinian coalition to rule Gaza in the day after. So the exit strategy must go through the Palestinian Authority. The Palestinian Authority ruled, as you very well know, Mark, ruled Gaza until 2005, and uh, they still have about 20,000 people who work for them inside Gaza. So uh, whatever structure we're going to have on the day after, we'll have probably have to go through uh, uh, working with the Palestinian Authority and maybe some sort of uh, a coalition of more moderate Sunni states uh, for the help, like the Saudis, uh, uh, Emirates and others. Uh, but right now, the goal is one. We have to eliminate Hamas in Gaza because they are killing their own children and they are killing our children.